Hi everyone, um, I'm Lee Stevens. I'm the Dispersant Advisor and Environment Advisor for the National Response Team. I'm going to give an update on the Dispersant Assessment Program we've been going through. Uh, as most of you are aware, we uh, had a couple of trials already um, early on in the spill and we've been shut up because of the weather since then, which has been a bit, a bit frustrating because we've been keen to see where we can utilise dispersants to try and minimise the effects of oil uh, on things on the surface of the water and the shoreline. So primarily we're using dispersants to try and minimise the impacts on seabirds, seals and uh, foreshore animals and organisms. What we've done today, the weather's cleared, had very good conditions to get out there into another trial application. We've had a small quantity of uh, fresh oil off the bow of the vessel we've been able to treat. Uh, we mobilised a couple of helicopters. We used one helicopter to direct the spray helicopter onto the oil. And we've laid down 200 litres in uh, a couple of runs today. So it's not a large quantity. We're taking a small area and we're monitoring it very closely. And uh, what we've found with that application is that the use of chemical dispersants on the fresh oil is not giving us sufficient effectiveness to justify the ongoing use of aerial dispersant operations. So I think we're going to keep in the toolbox. Uh, there may be other situations where dispersants are still appropriate in this response, but ongoing aerial applications at the current point in time have been removed from the incident action plan. It's one of our priorities. Part of that process, we have um, mobilised some offshore spray nozzles from Australia that are coming across. Uh, we've got those on standby. Um, we've also got in situ fluorometry monitoring, which is going to allow us to very carefully measure what's happening in the water column beneath any treated slicks that we deal to. Those types of applications are largely going to be small scale in nature, uh, and we don't anticipate any large scale offshore dispersion operations from this point onwards. <coughs> 